Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use the Gyroflow app. Uh, for those of you that are experiencing trouble with your footage, there's nothing wrong with your footage. There's just two different settings that need to be adjusted. One setting is to basically turn off Rocksteady if you want to use Gyroflow. And the other is if you don't wanna use Gyroflow and you want the, the um, software to do all the work on the goggles and the drone, you just simply turn Rocksteady back on. So let's get started so we can get you, you know, get you flowing with the Gyroflow. So first you want to put your goggles on, make sure you're there, and then you're going to go into your, your um, settings, right? And then you scroll down a little bit, go into camera, okay, E-I-S, and you see where it says Rocksteady? You want to make sure that Rocksteady is off. So with Rocksteady off, what's going to happen is your footage is now going to be um, work with Gyroflow, okay? So like, let's say, for example, this is a flight that I'm gonna do. So the first flight will be, um, it'll, the drone should start up in any minute. Just press down the lock button to take off. And so this footage, right, is with Rocksteady off, which means that if I bring it into Gyroflow, I should be able to uh, manipulate it and work with it and, and just basically do with that, whatever Gyroflow lets you do, which the possibilities on are endless. If you don't want to use Gyroflow and you just want your footage, you know, to just um, work straight out of the box, just uh, turn the uh, Gyroflow back on and, and you're good to go. Me personally, I don't, I don't use Gyroflow, but this is for those that have trouble because the first time I tried using Gyroflow, I was like, wait, what is it? It's not working. Um, and then I just basically um, tried turning Rocksteady off and it just worked fine. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so you wanna make sure you have all your videos ready, right? Whatever you have taken from your drone, from the Avada. And what you're gonna do is you're going to launch Gyroflow, right? And remember, the first video we did, we turned the uh, Rocksteady off, right? So that would be this one. Let's just press spacebar, see? And the only difference is when you turn Rocksteady off, I'll just right about here, you, there, there, there's no steadiness in the cam. It kind of looks like shaky cam from a horror movie. So all, it looks like all the, it was stripped from all the stabilization. And it's not as fluid, if you ask me, um, compared to the video of the drone when um, Rocksteady is on, right? So let's say, if, but the reason why you would turn Rocksteady off is because when you drag it in to Gyroflow, right? You don't get that error that you usually see here. See that? And now you can scrub through it. Um, and you have to play with the settings and figure out which settings work best for you. Um, you, or you. Or maybe you don't play with the settings and you just use keep Rocksteady on and, you know, uh, maybe use this uh, to speed up or slow down your footage, you know, whichever you want to do. Or maybe you want to change the um, the settings, from, you know, from somewhere here. You know, play with it, experiment with it. So let's just close this out, right? Click yes to exit. Now, I'm gonna show you where this video right here, remember the drone was facing this way and Rocksteady was turned back on. Now watch, see everything's just fluid. The video just flows. It's like everything you would have done in, uh, rock steady before rock steady right look at that it just flows um so let's say why would i use rock steady i mean well, not rock steady why would i um use gyro flow um if you know the if it's doing everything for me well maybe you want to use gyro flow on images where rock steady was on to um like you don't have final cut or something. See, this is the error you usually get. File format was detected, but no motion data was found, which is fine, right? So maybe what you want to do is just speed it up, right? So you could use Rocksteady and um, uh, zooming speeds, for example. So let's see what that does. Uh, I guess we should scrub through it a little bit. Or maybe you want to use Rocks. You know, we, we can speed it up a little bit. All right, that's the zooming speed, but video speed is what you really want, um, as you can see there. And you figure out a speed that works right for you, but that definitely is just out of control. Um, I would probably do 118% and then let it 
render, right? But again, you decide um, what speed is right for you. As you can see, it's just on a rendering loop. Um, but now let's watch. See, it's not bad. It's fair. It speeds it up a little bit. Um, yeah, that's kind of nice going a little bit faster. Uh, and that, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, and if you, you know, if you're not happy with, um, using gyroflow, just turn, um, turn everything, turn, turn Rocksteady back on and, and enjoy your videos. Anyway, I hope this helped you and you're better able to get your gyroflow going if you choose to go that route. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. And I'll see you all next time.